All right, guys, hey. So uh, here's all you're gonna need for our next project. This is it, right? You're gonna need a ruler, a big sheet of paper, and some kind of pencil. Eventually we'll get into uh, painting this project, but for right now that's all you're gonna need. You'll also need your Chromebook. I'm gonna use one of these little laptops right here. Um, so here's the deal. We started talking a little bit about um, cubism, right? That's where we're gonna be going with this. So for our cubism project, um, what I wanna do is this. We're gonna use what we already started talking about, which was that grid method. But we're gonna purposely break that grid method so we get what's called synthetic cubism. Now, this is a good example by uh, Picasso on synthetic cubism right there. You can see how it's kind of built out of these geometric shapes, right? Now, there are lots of different examples of cubism, okay? Um, Again, mostly we can talk about uh, Picasso and a couple other artists, and we'll get into talking about other artists. I'll do a lecture here for you, but we're gonna use kind of pop culture people for our cubist uh, artwork, okay? So for mine, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, just a photograph of Walt Disney right there. You can pick any celebrity you want to at all. It doesn't matter who it is, find a celebrity. Okay, next up, go ahead and take that picture. I want you to uh, save that picture, and then you can save it to, you know, wherever you need to, that's fine. And then I want you to go over and I want you to Google search grid over photo, grid over photo, okay? Whenever you get there, there's gonna be three or four really good websites that you can choose to use, okay? Um, for mine, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab, uh, I'll do this one right here, the second one down, that looks pretty good. You could use any of these, they all do the same thing. So this is pretty minimalist, but it'll work. I can choose to uh, choose my file and I can upload my file right in there, okay? So. Once I've done that, go ahead, it uploads my picture, and it's good to go. Now, what we need to do is put a literal grid over top of this. So I can set my settings over here. You can see, let's see, 100 pixels, and uh, let's see what else. Uh, transition, X versus Y ratio, my rotation, all this stuff. Holy mackerel. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say draw grid. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so right there. I don't know if you guys can see how, or how much you can see, but it has gone through using this little lime green and drawn a grid all the way across it, okay? So here's where the fun starts. So at this point, it wouldn't take much for us to sit down and draw this square by square. We've kind of already done that before, but we're gonna break it because we want it to be kind of cubist and kind of far out there, okay? So first thing I'm gonna see is what is my overall kind of width? So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six and a bit. Let's just call it six and get rid of him. Okay, six. So I'm gonna take my good paper here, take my ruler, and looks like it is 12 inches across, which means that I could do every two inches here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five. Done, easy, okay, that's good. Next, you wanna do the exact same thing, only this time, we gotta figure out how tall your image is. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whoa, and a bit. Let's just call it 10, and we'll cut that little bit off. Okay, 10. So, grab my ruler, grab my paper, and let's see. Now, we're gonna do a project similar to this relatively soon. Um, it is probably my favorite project ever. But for right now, we're gonna purposefully break this. That's our whole point. We are trying to break this, right? So if I'm doing 10, right? Well, 10 doesn't go into 18 inches very evenly. Uh, if you want it to be even, Stephen, you're welcome to. Go ahead and grab up your calculator and call it a day and we can, you know, kind of break it up. That's fine. Um, for me, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna do, uh, let's see, two, Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So notice they're not even even. And really, the other version that we did earlier, this kind of the uh, uh, the first line we did, um, those don't need to be even either. Because again, we're going to break this thing. It's going to be completely all over the map. Okay, so don't worry about it. All right, next step. Now that we know, you do need the exact number though. One, two, three, four, five spaces across, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten down. Okay, now, take your ruler. What I want you to do is this. You are not, are not allowed to crisscross your lines. You can't do it, okay? However, you can make them as skewed as you wanna do. So let's do this, here we go. I'm just gonna do it like this, and look at this. They're gonna be kind of all over the map. Okay, let's see here. 
all over the map. I can do a nice, perfectly straight line. And this one, oh, I'm gonna do it really skewed, like super tiny. Whoa. And this one's gonna be even more skewed. Why not? Like really, totally janked up. Cool. Okay, look at those lines. They are really pretty hideous, but that's okay, that's what we want. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're all, all over the place. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, here we go. Again, mess them up, but they cannot crisscross. You can't make an X, okay? Do not make an X. So there we go. One, let's see, and you can, honestly, I'm drawing them pretty dark so that you guys can see them on the uh, camera. I want you guys to draw yours maybe a little bit softer, a little bit lighter, a little bit look better, because we're gonna eventually erase this grid make your life a lot easier. So again, notice I'm just going kind of in and out, just kind of all over the place, really wonky looking. Wonky is what we want. Kind of short, kind of fatty all over the place, really big. Let's see, let's do a really big, really big, really big, way over there. And then we'll do kind of straight up. Okay, so I have made what is potentially the worst grid that has ever existed, right? All over the place, totally janked up. Now here's where the fun comes in, okay? Like I said, we are going super cubist with this. So you've got your grid, don't get rid of this page, you need this picture. If you need to even right click and save it so you have it with the grid. What you're gonna do is literally start at number one and just draw what you see. However, number one is totally skewed out of proportion, right? It's really messed up. So here we go, ready? Let's just see. I'm not gonna worry about drawing a background. For yours, I would encourage you to sit down and actually do something in the background. Um, it's gonna look cooler. But for mine, mine, excuse me, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right there, let's see. So row two looks like, let's see. Let's see, row one is nothing but background. Row two is where his head starts. So row two, square two, almost like a battleship, right? Okay, let's see. Row two, square two. And now I have to kind of skew, in my mind, I have to think, okay, if this was a little square and I started pulling it out like a, you know, taffy or something, what's it gonna look like? And I'm just gonna kind of lightly sketch. Not a lot of details. Just kind of get it in there. Just enough, right, just enough. Okay, looks like number two kind of comes up a little higher. And again, it will not necessarily perfectly match. And that's totally okay. This one's really long. So it's gonna be something, look, it's kind of skewed. And look at that, it totally cuts. That's okay, it's just fine. Hey, number three, looks like a little more of his hair right there. Look at that, what's that doing? It's just a random little chunk of hair. No one cares, that's fine. All right, round two, here we go. Coming on down, right, coming on down. Let's do this one, okay? It's gonna kinda come around. But it's really very skewed. It's mostly just hair, mostly just hair. Okay, now I've got a little bit of forehead here. So it's something like, there's kind of his forehead, there's his hair. Notice I'm really, there's no next to no detail going on here. Let's see, there's this. Okay, so obviously this looks pretty messed up, right? But let's be fair, you can kind of see where I'm coming from here, right? I mean, it's, it's in there somewhere, right? It's in there somewhere. It's supposed to look really, really messed up, okay? That's totally okay. Because the key is this, the, the kind of soul, the spirit of your famous person is still in there. Now you notice how whenever I was drawing, I really went one square at a time, just like with all of our drawings like this, right? Everything we've done up till now has always been one square at a time. Don't worry if it's not connected. That's totally okay, all right? Now, what you're gonna do next is once you've gone through and you have your picture drawn up and it's all jacked up and messed up and everything, feel free to grab an eraser or get one of the, like, the big erasers out of the drawer, that's fine too. And you're gonna go ahead and kind of erase at least some of kind of these lines. Now we're gonna end up painting over them anyway, so again, if there's a little bit of an image there, don't lose sleep over it. 
What you're gonna do is this. You're gonna wanna pick two, two colors that are complementary, right? So remember, complementary colors, red and green, blue and orange, and yellow and purple. Or in this case, you could even mix it up. Go for like the tertiary colors, right? So how about the tertiary, like a reddy, reddish purple, and like a lime green, like a yellowy green. That would work really well. Or you could use like a, maybe a greenish blue, ooh, and like a reddish orange. Or you could use a yellowy orange and like a bluish purple. You could keep going, there's so many options. So you're gonna pick complementary colors, okay? Now, with each one of those two colors, those are the only two colors you're allowed to use, but you can use monochromes of those, so a lighter or darker value of maybe, like, let's say I wanna do blue and orange. I could use a dark blue, light blue, that's good. I could use a dark orange, light orange, that's good. But I can only use those two colors and values of those two colors to start to paint this guy in. It's gonna be pretty abstract whenever you're all done. I would highly suggest that you go through and the darker stuff use your darker color and the lighter stuff use your lighter color. That way the darker color can kind of be your shadow. Now I'm gonna throw this out to you. If all of that sounds way too much for you, I understand. In that case, you are allowed to pick one color and just do a straight monochromatic picture, okay? So that's your two options. I'm letting you have the choice. A straight monochromatic one color value or I'm gonna let you push it and do complementary colors with value, okay? So I'm gonna start painting up mine. I probably won't finish, but at least you get an idea of where we're going. Okay, here we go. Okay, so maybe evil demon Walt Disney is not for you, and that is totally understandable. But the thing is this, remember, this is all about experimentation, this whole project. Now, you'll notice I totally did one big thing absolutely wrong. I told you guys always start light and work dark. So I started out by outlining in blue. Ah, my God, what was I thinking? So do not do what I did. Do not outline at all, and then definitely don't outline with your darker color, right? If I'm gonna use blue and orange, I should start out way up here with this kind of paled out yellowy orange, right? Do everything that's that color and keep adding and adding. I can always darken. You notice here, ugh, what a mess, right? That just got to be a big mixture of poo color. That is not good. Also notice something else. I experimented by starting out with a bigger brush, and then I kind of worked my way to smaller paintbrushes to get even more detail. Maybe give that a try. The final note is this. Now notice that if you're only allowed to use your complementary colors, right, orange and blue, what happens whenever you mix those complementary colors? Because if you mix all three primaries, which is basically what we're doing, you end up with kind of a nice even brown color. You can see I tried to work that in a little bit around kind of his forehead there. That is totally okay. So you can go from light to kind of a mixture combination into the dark colors. And the last little bit I used was by mixing a little bit of black with a little bit of blue. So maybe this painting was not so much of a success but I bet yours is gonna be even better. So remember, even though it looks messed up and cubist and goofy and weird, I promise yours is gonna be really cool simply because you're gonna learn how to control all of these paint theories we've been talking about. It all comes into play in this project. This project feeds directly into our next project, which also talks about pop art. So we've been dealing with kind of cubism. Now let's talk a little bit about pop art next time. And we might have to deal a little bit with a couple web slingers next time as well. So whenever I see you guys again, we'll deal with that. And then we'll slowly but surely move ourselves into other mediums of paint, inevitably working towards acrylics, watercolors, and finally spray paint. Then we'll be sculpting and uh, so much more. So even though this looks kind of terrifying, remember, do not start out with your outlines. Oh God, what was I thinking? What a horrible demo. Anyway, light to dark, complementaries, or straight just monochrome, right? Just maybe I just want to do straight orange. Maybe that would look even better. So anyway, feel free to experiment. Remember, you can always paint over your stuff. And please, for all that is good and holy in this universe, clean up after yourself. Don't, don't leave this for anyone, that's, that's just rude. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. See ya.